morning everybody from this very flattering angle welcome to today's vlog today we are going shopping so we're going to go to Hermes because I've got some questions about my Birkin and my new Birkin because it's got lines on both sides of the side flaps so we're going to check that out if I'm storing it correctly I don't know I just want to make sure that everything is okay and I want to look at some belts and then we're going to also go to an art gallery because this new year is a year for trying something new and also we are planning to try dim sum so we're going to try some new foods it's Tuesday it's middle of the week so hopefully it'll be quieter the scent of the day of course I have to do my scent of the day because this is a perfume and luxury channel and mess by Violet Volenka that scent I love and because I'm going to Hermes I thought it was only fitting to go to that scent and it's super long lasting it always calms me down this leather is so delicious I actually want to have a look at another scent a Santal Masoya or something like that uh, because I love that one as well and yeah just wearing my new totem coat which I absolutely love. I'll show you later how it looks. But guys, I got it on sale, but like a huge sale. I got it for 355 pounds, whereas usually it's like nearly 1,000. And I got another one as well because I got two for less than the price of one. So I did very, very well because I was loving these coats forever and I wanted to get them and now, that I found this deal I was like I have to get two because it's less than the price of one and I absolutely love them because they're super long but you're going to see them and I'm quite tall not like super tall but there's rarely a coat that really hits like this really looks long on me and this is like just amazing tips for storing again so I can store it a bit better I'll, I can show you guys how like she said I should store it because she actually gave me like quite a unique tip I think and I made a wish for my wish list item if you haven't seen my wish list video then you can check it out so I made another wish we'll see but very nice experience again uh, and now we're going to try dim sum I'm a bit terrified because I'm not like a person that loves trying new foods all the time but I think it'll be fun so we found a place just randomly on Google and we were walking there I wanted to show you guys, I promised you to show uh, the coat so look how long it is and uh, I am 5'8 so this is like really long Not I haven't found a coat that is that long and if you also uncinch it it's even longer than now so I love these also that just really dropped it really long and I'm like not wearing any scarf but I can kind of close it like this this is the rope totem coat I love it it's still on sale do you want to turn around? Uh -huh. it's just so like the material is like all wool but so soft it feels super luxurious the fit the everything you can wear it open i love it 
and yeah, I've got two, so it's kind of crazy. Then I'm wearing my B, of course, with a new insert, by the way, which I love. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. It's from 7RP, so finally I can use my bag more with it. And then hat from Arquette, really nice. Uh, top from Pixie Market with the sweetheart neckline, but the long sleeve one. Jeans, cars, and sambas. Just casual. Because we're doing some walking so far, I don't want to wear heels. So, yeah, this is my outfit of, of the day. -oh. That is a bit like, but overall, it's nice. Oh, God. Thank you. This for you. There's a steam punch and a cotton prints for you. That's wonderful. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs> so good. This is amazing. What am I kissing? A sabio. So how was the food? I mean, this whole place, like it said, it's one of the best dim sum places in Manchester and uh, it must be good because we were the only like foreigners and everybody was kind of looking at us like, what are you doing here? <laughs> we were quite an event, which is great. That means that it's actually authentic, good dim sum and it was really delicious. So very happy with it and yeah. I will go again, definitely. Now we're going to the art gallery to see what's on. So today is like a very <laughs> different day because my goal for this new year was to do more things that I want to do in my head but I never actually plan. So this time I actually planned to do these things like try dim sum, go to an art museum. It doesn't even have to be like for long but I just want to see if I enjoy it anymore because I used to go a lot but do I enjoy it? We'll see. favorite painting because it's very Manchester. This is Manchester Royal Exchange and then you've got the bee on the walls there. It's really cool. Like the art gallery, tell me. I think I would need more time to get into it, to get connected with yeah. this moment. It didn't feel special to me. Maybe I was also I was recording, so so yeah. it's different. What about yourself? I liked it, but it wasn't like I prefer modern art. But I found a couple of pieces that inspired me and were beautiful. Just being around something different, I think, really stimulates me. So. Uh -huh. It was a good experience anyway. We were there for like 20 minutes, so not long at all. But we have to be getting back because well, she's at home. <laughs> so we always have that so in the not, back of us. Do you not want do you not want to go to the Chanel store? I do want to go to the Chanel ah, store. Okay, so we're going to the Chanel store. You, one but more thing. that's why we spent only 20 minutes there. Just box. 
What is nine? Black powder. I like this one. No, I don't like it. No? It's one of their best sellers, apparently. Really? Surprise! He loves my I love, favorite. I love this one. Beat Cafe Juice Box. Yeah. Really it amazing. smells kind of a BDK Gris Chanel vibe. Yeah, I don't remember the smell. Yeah, I know really what you mean. Nice. Really really nice. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to draw flaps out of the first time it's because you know what I like. In the car park. Yeah, we were at the Chanel store. I tried on ballerinas and some shoes and finally my size was there. But guys, they really hurt my big toe. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go and try them again maybe next up. But seriously, it's crazy because I thought that they would be totally comfortable. Like you would think ballerinas are comfortable, but they were hurting my toes so bad. So I was like, no, I tried the heeled ones, the classic ones, and they were fine, but that's not what I wanted. So I kind of was like, well, oh. So let me know if you've got the same problem because nobody has ever said anything to me about the the size, the not being comfortable, but Oran's the same. Oran's from MS. They are so uncomfortable on me, but on other people they find them very comfortable. So I don't know if it's my feet, but MS, Oran's, only now they're becoming after a year more comfortable, but before they were burning my feet and they always slap my heels when I walk so then I've got bruised heels let that sink in bruised heels like I just nobody's talking about this I don't know if I'm the only one do I have weird feet guys let me know so we'll see you again when we get home and I'm going to show you my new insert for the Birkin and show you how it fits into the bag We just got back home, but I wanted to share you what today there was like a tough night because Mossy was a bit poorly again, our dog, so it wasn't like a fully slept through night. But I got a little bit of something um, from MS, and this is a perfume that has been on my wish list, and I love how they've done the new Etonon Hermes. 2023 a new ribbon this is one of the fragrances that a couple of times that i was in was always sold out but i'm obsessed with it the little box that's how it comes in and it has a little bit of a blanket and a travel pouch which is really nice for travel and oh i love it I love this leather tab. It's so much softer than my Violet Polenka one. But this is Santal My Masoya. I have to find out what that means because I have no idea, but it probably has a big meaning. This is a very powdery, musky scent. I'm wearing Violet Polenka, but I'll spray it a bit. This one, oh, it's so delicate. It's musky. It's a bit like when you cut cucumber, that sort of a watery freshness at the beginning, but it's also a bit ambery. It's a stunning, subtle, but strong scent at the same time. Very nice. And I think with many of these scents, they make, they take scent profiles that are usually very, like they're done, and then they make them a bit more interesting, the MS way. So I like how they do them. They don't do like a crazy twist, but they do like a gentle difference that you know, oh, this is something I like, but with a difference and very nice quality. So absolutely love this scent. Next up, I really want Tonka Vetiver. 
that one is really beautiful and umber nagi but umber nagi scent profile wise i love the most out of all the Hermes fragrances but just doesn't last so i'm like i want to get it but at the same time i'm like oh i wish it lasted or i found something that was similar but lasted more anyway i also wanted to share with you my new inset that i got it looks like this inside the bag very nice uh, and I have done hours and hours of research about inserts and I nearly bought <laughs> two other ones, like nearly bought them. Like I was going through the checkout and then I was like, no, I'll do some more research. I'm that person that literally will research anything forever before deciding on buying it. That's why I own few things, but nicer things I would rather go this way. But this is the 7RP insert. This is, I believe, in cray because they don't have the green one. Probably they could make it if I really wanted it to be perfect because they hand make these. But I was happy with this. This is nice, very delicate, warm white, I would say. And it will go, like you can see everything. That's what I want. I didn't want a dark one because then I wouldn't be able to see my stuff looking down as well. So I really enjoy this. And when it came, I honestly was so impressed because I wanted to get a Mai Tai insert and Samoga insert, but then I decided against it. Samoga to me, um, I don't like felt inserts. That's what I found with my other one that I've got. Um, my dog's hair really gets stuck in it. And then I have to like take a little tweezer and like get them out. It's just, it's too much of a hassle, literally, or any, because that one is in white. So any fuzz, everything sticks to it. So I thought mm, I might not want to get a white one or a light one again, maybe if it was darker, but not that and then Mai Tai they're beautiful insets but then I've heard horror stories reviews I read that um those have misshapen some Birkins so I don't know if that's true or not but I've read it so it kind of gave me a little bit of a scare whereas with 7RP I haven't had I haven't heard anything bad at all bad at all and they're very expensive I must say that but I'm just not a person that is willing to buy a cheap one because it's cheaper and then ruin my bag. You know what I mean? If I'm buying an expensive bag, I would rather have the best. And honestly, this feels so nice. It kind of feels like a luxury car, like inside or a yacht. I used to work in a yachting industry and this would be like some of the walls. Like it's just a very nice microfiber, but finer sort of a very material. And the stitches, that's what I was really impressed with there's not a stitch out of place there isn't a loose thread everything is so nicely done really nicely produced i showed it to my essay today and she was really impressed she was like oh this is really nicely made we should make something like this so you know even ms was like hmm. and i love these little slots for lipsticks well i made them my lipstick slots you've got four so you've got a lot and then you've got loads of pockets here to each on each side which is also really handy for receipts for i put my keys in there and then you've got a big compartment and what i also really like is that it's got padding so got my stuff in here but it's got padding so when i drop my phone in there it doesn't make a sound it's not like i you know it's not a harsh sound it's not breaking my bag and it's being the shock of my phone being dropped is absorbed by these cushions which is really really good i think that's they fought it through really really well and then you've got these tabs which i don't know what i would use these for they're only on one side i usually don't carry that much stuff in here but i had all of this and I actually have to get my glasses from the car. And I also had my hat in here, my phone. So yeah, this really fits everything you want. They do return return style inserts. They do normal style inserts. So I'm very happy with them. I showed it to my essay and she was like, yeah, very, very nice. But she said, don't store it with uh, it in because it does push the bag a little bit out. It doesn't matter when you wear it because these go out a little bit anyway and you're not like strapping it in closing it but i wouldn't store it with the insert 
because it does push out the bag on the sides a little bit. In terms of the marks, she said that basically it might be the cow hide, like how the veining is and how hard it is in different uh, spots that's why the marks might be forming or another explanation would be that the bag is still new so it will soften over time so now it's like in this weird in between phase that's why i'm seeing it more and on this lighter color bag i'm seeing it more i've seen it on some older bags when i was looking online as well just the faint line so i think it just goes away after a while but you know you can't really see it too much i'm I don't want to be like too, you know, too precious about my bag. But today I was like, we we're nearly going to the shop and I was looking at the grains and one spot here is not painted. Like there's this, I don't know if you'll be able to see, probably not. Can you see it here? I don't think I made this because I've worn this bag like five times and nothing happened to it. Like it was very quick. Like today was the longest I took it out for. It was seven hours shopping. But yeah, this little grain isn't painted, painted. And I was like, oh my gosh. But then I say I was saying that I could just wait until I get this bag a bit more dirty, a bit more damaged, and then we'll send it off to spa in a couple of years and they'll repair it then because there's no point now. You know, it's like, you can't see it. You can't literally see it. See it, it's the tiniest little spot, but I love this bag, guys. I love it. This is the bag in 25 in green pearl. I adore it. I just, I'm obsessed, totally obsessed with it. I think it's so easy to use. I would say much easier than my classic flaps and the quality. The leather is so much sturdier. I don't worry about it too much. The color is a bit worrisome. That's the only thing I'm like a bit careful with still. But overall, I just, oh, I love it. I actually reached out to the inset company and said if I could have some discounts for you guys if you wanted to get some because you guys know me, I always am that person that like goes on a website, signs up for a newsletter, tries to get at least 10% off on anything. I am that person that will ask like literally at the counter saying, can I have 10% off? And most often than not, you can actually if you ask. So that is my little tip for you guys. And I've got a discount code for you guys if you want to buy an insert for Birkin or Classic Flav. They do both um, on 7RP's website. I mean, I love it. Like I myself researched so, so much and this is the one that I got. So I wholeheartedly recommend this insert, this company. They make really beautiful. And the packaging was really lovely too. Everything was like, the experience was amazing. So I'll leave a um, discount for you down below so you can get yours at a discount if you want to at all. Thank you for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you want to see in vlogs and next time because I'm open to suggestions. If you're new, this is a perfume and a vlog channel. So if you love such content, subscribe for, to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.